Junkies sit around picking winning technologies like drinkers pick horses. It's just their thing. I'm Brian Cooley with my top five picks of doomed technologies. I don't feel good about these. If you do your gambling with the grocery money, don't bet on them. Number five, Blu-ray. Oh, I hear you. Blu-ray is already a good-sized hit. But as it tries to equal the impact of its parent DVD, it's getting taken out at the knees by online streaming to the television even faster than many of us would have guessed a year ago. I think Blu-ray falls somewhere north of Laserdisc, but around paragraph 9 of the history of home video. Number 4. Ebook readers. Yeah, Amazon won't stop telling us the Kindle is their number one best-selling, most wished for, most gifted product. What they don't tell us is, how many have they sold? Estimates are between 1.5 and, and 3 million since November of 2007. And that's, by the way, the most popular e-reader out there. Well, Apple sells that many iPads in a couple of months, and it hasn't been on the market nearly that long. A tablet is not a perfect reader, but we're also not a nation of bookworms either. For most of us, the tablet's going to be good enough, especially since our real love is video and the web. Readers, they're niche for life. Number three, 3D TV. Yeah, that's the newest thing on the list, but I'm still nervous about it. Early word from retailers is that it's proving to be a tough sell. Blame it on those glasses and the fact that they are proprietary to your brand of TV. Also, the mess of standards and most of the stuff we watch not being made better by 3D all give this one the stink of a carnival trick. In 2011, I need to see glasses get standardized, display standardization as well, either frame sequencing or polarization, and tons of content that is meaningfully presented in 3D. Then maybe I'll be convinced. Number two, wireless HDMI. This one's bubbled up here and there with various manufacturers and mostly in proprietary form. It's never taken root. I'm just not sure consumers care. Yes, cabling your home system the first time is a pain, but then you're done for years. And yes, that wire crawling up the wall to your TV is ugly, but so is your living room. And you're going to need a power cord anyway. We're not a nation of interior design buffs, so a technology to eliminate a snarly mess of cables isn't going to find much love. Now, before I take you to my number one doomed technology, here are five that have emerged as sure bets over the course of 2010 and well into the years ahead. These guys you can take to the bank. Okay, my number one technology that just feels like it's dead is Wi-Fi in cars. Wow, seemed like such a great idea a year or so ago. But now we have so many 3G smartphones, 3G tablets, 3G notebooks, and 3G MiFi's and USB dongles that the idea of a 3G-powered Wi-Fi translator hotspot bolted into the car to connect devices that already have 3G just doesn't get out of the garage. Thanks for watching, folks, and we'll check in late 2011 and see how I fared on these predictions. I'm Brian Cooley.